Hi everyone, Tara Melton here with Magnet Forensics. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how Axiom can help in some of your investigations. Today we're dealing with a case involving intellectual property theft, and I want to show you how our Timeline Explorer can help you quickly see the events that occurred across multiple evidence devices. You can see here I have a case loaded into Axiom Examine. I have multiple evidence items loaded in from the employee under investigation. First, we have an image from the hard drive of the employee's work computer. We also have access to a couple of her cloud accounts, including her Office 365. And we also have a USB device in question that we believe might be involved as well. I'm going to start on our endpoint and view the evidence for this source only. When I click on this link, it should bring us up to the artifacts view. And you can see it automatically applies a filter for just that particular evidence item. I'm going to focus in on the Word document artifact because we already know the particular document that was leaked. It's this master business plan dot doc. So I'm going to go over to the details pane of this particular artifact and you can see that there's multiple timestamps associated with it that we're able to build our timeline around. To do that, what you need to do is click this little icon here next to it and that allows us to set a relative time filter based on that particular timestamp. So you can see we can set a range both before and after that particular timestamp that we have and when we have that set, it'll open up in the Timeline Explorer. So I'm going to switch over to the Timeline Explorer and show you a really high-level overview of the life of this file across multiple evidence sources. So now that I'm in Timeline Explorer view, we can start to get an idea of the life of the file in question and how and when it was stored on each of your evidence sources. The Timeline Explorer encompasses dates and times from the file system, as well as any parsed out timestamps from the artifacts that Axiom supports, which allows for a super comprehensive timeline to review. So after doing a keyword search of the file in question, you can see that it was created in Office 365 in April in the account of the user under investigation. It looks like it may have been emailed between users after that. The audit log then shows it was downloaded and there's some file system artifacts that show it looks like it was saved to the user's workstation. Looking at the source path for this entry, we can see that there's a reference to the document in a OneDrive folder under the user's downloads. And then just a short time later, we see this file was created on another volume, in this case the USB device in question. This just goes to show how vital it is to be able to follow a file's path between multiple evidence sources and how the Timeline Explorer and Axiom can help. Thank you for watching this quick overview and please feel free to reach out with any questions or comments.